here we continue our discussion of um, the continuity equation, which is a statement of mass conservation at a differential level. Last time we derived mass conservation at the control volume level, so on the, at the integral scale, on the macroscopic control volume, and then we uh, deduced um, a uh, derivation for and, and a statement for mass conservation at the differential level, which is the continuity equation here, which uh, writes uh, the material derivative of rho with respect to t plus rho times the divergence of the velocity field is equal to zero. That here is a statement of mass conservation at the differential level. And what we will do now is try to understand what these terms, what each term of the continuity equation means and why this is a statement of mass conservation. Okay, so <clears throat> let's look at the first term of the continuity equation, the material derivative of the density. Remember, the material derivative is a way of representing uh, changes in a Lagrangian view. So the material derivative of the density represents the changes with time, the rate of change of the density, if we follow the material. So if we follow a material element. All right, so let's assume here that we are following a very small differential material element. So what is going to happen? We are following this material element. Remember, this is now we are following the same, the same molecules or the same material, if you want. And that means that there is no volumetric flow rate. So there is no um, yeah, volume crossing this material element. Later in time, we're following the same uh, material element. And so what happens if the, des the density changes? For instance, um, what would happen if the density was negative? Now, if the density is negative, we can see here uh, from the continuity equation, if this term is negative, for the sum of those two terms to be equal to zero, the divergence of u would have to be positive. So from continuity, we would have that the divergence of u has to be positive. Now, if we think about this differential material element, we can see what it means, uh, have an idea of what it means for the divergence field of u to be positive. Because if you follow a material element, as, we, as what we are doing here, the mass of this material element, that by definition, because there is no volumetric flow rate, has to be constant. So if the mass of this material element is constant, but the density of this material element is decreasing, you see that this material element, really the volume of the material element, has to increase because of mass conservation. So mass conservation implies that if the density of a material element decreases, then the volume of a material element increases. And the volume of material element increases. And so one way of understanding a, diver a positive divergence, so the divergence is positive, the divergence of a flow field is positive if um, for this flow field the volume of material element increases. So the divergence of U is positive if the volume of material elements increase. Another way of uh, understanding what it means for the divergence to be positive is to look at uh, mathematics. And in particular at the divergence theorem, which states that the, vol the volumetric flow rate coming out of a closed surface, so this here is the volumetric flow rate through ds, and if I integrate it through over an entire closed control surface, 
So the volumetric flow rate coming out of a closed surface is equal to the integral over the, the control volume of the divergence of U. All right, so if we apply the divergence theorem to a differential, now, fixed, uh, fixed uh, volume, so not a material volume, so we take a small control volume, then the, if the divergence is positive, right, over this small control volume, then what we have is that the volumetric flow rate coming out of this, um, out of this control volume is positive. The positive divergence field implies that um, the volumetric flow rate coming out of this small control surface would be positive. The positive volumetric flow rate coming out of the uh, control volume. So let's see uh, how we can understand that on a simple um, flow field, so on a simple example. So let's consider a unidirect the following unidirectional flow. So let's say this is our velocity field U, and clearly, as you can see here, this velocity field is unidirectional. Uh, so it only has a non-zero component along the x-axis. So when we see uh, this field, um, let's say this is a velocity field, so it has to satisfy the continuity equation. Uh, what can we what do we know about this region here of um, of the flow. So if we look at this region here, we see that the velocity coming in here is larger than the velocity coming out here. Um, and so there are two ways of thinking about what will be the sign of the divergence. Right? The first way is to think about this as a um, fixed control volume, and in that case, uh, we can look at uh, the volumetric flow rate coming out uh, of this um, of this little control volume. So, of course, there is nothing coming out of the side boundaries. There is some volume coming out, so positive flow rate coming out through this uh, surface here. But here we have a negative uh, flow rate because the flow is coming in, so a negative flow rate coming out, and we see that this negative flow rate coming out is much larger than the positive flow rate coming out uh, of this surface here, and that means that the divergence has to be negative in this case. Note that this is uh, in agreement with the definition of the divergence. Remember the divergence is partial u partial x plus partial v partial y plus partial w partial z, but in this case, uh, because we have a unidirectional flow, v and w are equal to zero, we only have flow in the u direction, so this is partial u, partial x, right? and it's quite clear that partial u, partial x, so the velocity decreases uh, with respect to x, so here the divergence is negative. Now in terms of uh, the divergence, what happens in this region here is precisely the opposite. So in this region, if we look at a small control volume, on this side we have some volume coming out, we have a large volumetric flow rate positive volumetric flow rate coming out, and on that side we have a small volu volumetric flow rate, uh, we have a small negative volumetric flow rate. So we know here that the total volumetric flow rate coming out of this little control uh, volume will be positive, and therefore the divergence is going to be positive in this region. Now you can also look at the first interpretation that we had of the control volume, because you can see here that if this now is no longer a fixed uh, control volume, but if this here was a Lagrangian control volume, then this boundary here would be moving at a certain velocity, but that one would be moving at a faster velocity. So you see that this control volume, the volume of this control volume would increase, right? And this, oops, sorry, here should be positive. And this is uh, precisely the definition and the, the the signature of a positive divergence field. Likewise here, we have a negative divergence field, right? So either we look at the volumetric flow rate coming out, or we think of this as a Lagrangian uh, control volume, and we see that the volume of this, um, of this material element would decrease. All right, and so for, from continuity, what we find, what we can see is that 
here in this region of the flow so divergence is positive and that means that the material derivative of the density is decreasing so here the density of a material element is decreasing whereas in this region here again from mass conservation because the divergence here is negative we know that in this in this region here the density is increasing